This is gonna be the first official ride on the brand new 2023 Indian Sport Chief. This one here. Uh, but we're gonna go switch it over to sport. That's it, it's on sport mode. The fairing does a job and it takes it right over your head. Something I don't really gotta worry about anymore is really filming around some people because now they can show their faces. <laughs> What's well, a bright, beautiful morning. We got a sea of these horse and chiefs all over right here. And we're gonna be taking these bikes out today. We're gonna be riding them, put them to the test, talking about everything. Oh, that one has a nice little air cleaner right there. This one here has a 10 inch riser set up. Uh, most of the other ones have the uh, six inch that they come on. So, pretty awesome now uh, that these bikes come with the riser setups. Uh, the 10 inch is an option, so that one you would have to pay for. Um, but it's, it's, it's awesome, man. I, I, I just can't wait to get on these bikes and try them out. Um, obviously, we were here for the first press launch when, when Chief originally launched in 21. It absolutely loved that bike. So just to have this opportunity again to get on these bikes, um, surrounded by these great people as well, and take these bikes out of there. It's just everything right now. And um, something I don't really gotta worry about anymore is really filming around some people because now they can show their faces. That's right. Bang! <laughs> Block himself right there. So he's here, <laughs> Jess is here. Brandon. I'm sure you guys Brandon real quick. Brandon, say hi. Hi. Gang, gang. gang. Dude, I'm so dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. like, lighting! There Hi, there we go. <laughs> Bang! Shining bright. Yeah, it's Shining bright. Righto. All right, so we just did a switch. So instead of the six inch riser, I'm gonna be on the great stealth, and that comes with the 10 inch right here. So more of my riding style right there. I have um, the bigger riser set up back on all my bikes at home. So that's what I, I like the most. There we go. I know I'm not funny. Anyway, so we're gonna give you a little nice riding portion in this video of the bike. I'm also gonna have a separate video for the actual full in-depth review of the bike as well. And just little snippets of here and there with the whole team. And um, so sit back and enjoy the ride, enjoy the video. Right, guys this is gonna be the first official ride on the brand new 2023 Indian Sport Chief I'm happy that I was put on this bike with the uh, 10 inch riser because that's more of my uh, my riding style back at home on all my bikes I'm glad that I was put on this bike with the uh, 10 inch uh, riser setup this is more a bit of my riding style back at home um, the stock one comes with the uh, six inch this is an, uh, an accessory that you have to buy if you want a taller. Uh, but you do get the six inch that you see on that bike right there and that you see on her two wheels bike right there. I'm really excited to take this thing on the road. Um, I had a great time on the Dark Horse Chief and some of my uh, feedback on that was that it would be great if it would have a fairing. I'm used to 
riding bikes with fairings and um and what indian did with this bike is that they basically changed everything that i kind of wish this bike had which is a fairing riser setup and uh suspension in the back different suspension different seat so everything's different First time out here in Texas, Austin, Texas at that. And uh, it's a beautiful little city, man. We uh, took a little walk around last night and a um, bunch of little bars and restaurants all over the place. Really, really cool stuff. I really like this uh, part of Texas. From an outsider coming in, anyone thinking about Texas, we think about wide open fields, cows everywhere and cowboys everywhere. <laughs> it's not like that. Uh, it's always a joy to get on this bike. It's a torque monster. It's very, very peppy. You're going to have that power you need at any range. And that's what I mostly like about the uh, about the Chief, man. It's just a really fun bike to ride. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, in-town and city riding. And then they're gonna be taking us on this nice little trail. A lot of twisties everywhere. And that's what I'm kind of looking forward to the most. After we're done with all the photo shoots and all the videos, um, they're basically gonna give us the bikes to just go do whatever we want and ride wherever we want. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, like I was saying before, there's gonna be a video, um, an in-depth review video of just a bike. There's gonna be this riding portion slash vlog video. And um, I don't know, there, there might be out there video, I'm not sure yet. Austin, Texas. Texas forever. Everything is bigger in Texas. This rear brake is actually really good. So the 10 inch riser setup feels great. Um, just to give you a little uh, in scoop about myself, if uh, you don't really follow me, I'm around 5'7. I'm able to flat foot this bike right now. Uh, the riser setup is really good. I have a nice little slight bent on my elbow right here. So riding triangle feels really good as well on the bike. Uh, they did change the seat out and this seat does feel a lot more plush than the stock seat because that stock seat was, it was really harsh on you. But the whole ergonomics on the bike feels much better now, the way it's set up. You're gonna have mid controls on this bike as well. Yeah, this bike corners really well. Even those little around the town corners, you could definitely feel like you could lean it over a lot. Feels really good. Feels real planted to the floor. Wow, they have some really beautiful roads out here in Texas. Really nice. Nice little curvy turns everywhere. Man, let me tell you, this bike is really, really, really nimble. Really easy to use. Just get on that throttle and the bike just wants to take off. Lean angle is a lot better now uh, with that taller uh, suspension in the back. A lot more plush, so that I like. And the fairing definitely does the job now because prior to that, you had all this wind just hitting your chest. And uh, this definitely takes uh, all that pressure off of you and makes the ride a bit more enjoyable. We're gonna have to put this thing on sport mode now. I'm gonna show you guys how easy that is to do on this bike. Really, really, really easy. Okay, so we'll go to the touch screen right here. Press this. Set again. So right here we got Tor. Standard, which is what I'm on now. Uh, I would honestly recommend Standard to anyone. Just if you're gonna be riding around town, Standard is very easy. Cause Sport is really, really torquey. So if you're gonna hit the, the highway and doing a lot of long miles, Sport is gonna be really fun for that. But for around the town, 
do not put on sports it's just it, it, it's not fun um Nintora obviously is more comfort more more relaxed uh but we're gonna switch it over to sport that's it it's on sport mode and um changes everything even the revs sound a lot oh okay well uh, go back to the main screen see gauges look at this you have so much on here see everything um gauges <laughs> See, even look like it's so instant the power like you really really feel it man it's so crazy how that works now as far as the uh wind deflection on here you definitely feel it right here on your shoulders but when it comes the wind comes at you kind of the fairing does a job and it takes it right over your head this does have the nine inch windshield on it though um so this one this bike here in particular is equipped with the 10 inch riser setup it has the nine inch screen on it um the stock one comes with the uh, four inch i believe so they got a four inch screen six inch and then the nine inch right here and this is the one that i would get for sure now when it comes to controls you're gonna have your horn on this side low beam high beam turn signals here as well um if you have your bluetooth connect you have your music uh, knob right here um, and then this knob right here you can select your uh, navigate through your gauges as well for your analog on this side you got your power button on and off cutoff switch and you're gonna have your cruise control button right here so this bike also does come equipped with cruise control which is awesome a lot of tech packed into here this little analog right here so easy to see is right where it needs to be um, even when the sun is dead on it, uh, it doesn't affect it, you see it very, very clear. And then you're also able to switch this around and look at whatever you want. Um, on top of that, you're going to have your turn-by-turn -turn GPS on here as well, which is amazing. Um, we'll, we'll use that later on because after, like I said, after we're done with the whole ride, they're going to give us a bike and we're going to go on and about and do our thing. And then we're going to have to put the uh, address back to the hotel we're staying at. And I'll, um, hopefully I'll have some battery left by then and I'll give you guys a little clip of that. Now this all here is going to be all plastic. Um, that's one thing that I wish Indian changed and just made it, uh, I don't know, more metal-like. Now once again, I want to talk about the suspension. Uh, a tremendous upgrade, guys. We got the Fox rear shock suspension on there. Ready, one, two. <laughs> it's a tie! Now, once again, I want to go ahead and talk about the suspension, guys. A tremendous upgrade with the uh, rear piggybacks Fox suspension on here these things feel great I really wanted to try them out I've been hearing nothing but great things about the Fox suspension right now that they're offering for motorcycles I mean we all know Fox they do all these crazy lifts for trucks and everything else but and uh, but now they're really going hard in the uh, in the cruiser segment and um, I gotta say I really like these shocks so Fox if you're listening out there I, I do need some new suspension for my uh, for my bike back at home. Are you liking it? Yeah, these were really good. Yeah. What do you think about the changes they made so far? Good man, the suspension definitely feels a lot nicer. Uh, the lean angle is much... Yeah, I was just better. talking about that. Yeah. Um, power feels, I mean, pretty, you know, same. Yeah. yeah. Um, responsiveness is good, especially in sport. Uh, yeah, I'd say the biggest noticeable difference is suspension. Yeah. You feel like the fairing is doing its justice too or what? Yeah, it's keeping it off the chest. I'm still feeling it on the helmet a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, for the most part, the chest is good. You probably like this. This was a little taller. So you probably like that one better. 
Yeah, we'll have to switch off at some point. Yeah, we'll do that. I wonder why this one has like a little loop coming out of the seat and this one doesn't. This is a two up. <laughs> oh, it's a little longer. Yeah. I love roads like this, man. A lot of twisties. Open look to everything. Mother Nature at its best. Look at this, it's beautiful. Texas, you are beautiful. This bike is definitely flat around the twisties. This is the bike you want to have if you want to do riding like this. Oh man, it's fun. Pretty, 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 pretty fun. I gotta tell you, lead angle has increased majorly. It really has. Huge difference.
so now we're on the black bike uh ended up switching out with blockhead because he wanted to try out the bike that i was on since that one has the taller risers taller uh windshield on the fairing as well and this is this is how the bike just comes stock six inch riser here in the front um obviously a huge difference from the one that i was on before but it still feels really good um i, I mean anything is going to feel more comfortable when it has a little bit more height to it so the six inch definitely feels good um i do prefer the taller windshield though a lot more i hope you guys are enjoying this so far um this has been a, an amazing experience so a huge shout out and thank you to india motorcycle for allowing us to do this bringing us out here to beautiful austin texas to raise amazing sport chiefs all right so that's gonna pretty much conclude the first official ride on the sports chief um two things a lot better than the regular chief dark horse because obviously the higher riser here in the front, a lot more comfortable. You got the uh, fairing in the front for your wind protection. Um, the shocks in the back, uh, the shocks in the front, the inverted front forks, everything. It just makes everything that you wanted to change on the Chief Dark Horse before they changed, including the seat as well. The seat is actually not that bad. Um, the stock one on the Dark Horse is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that seat, but this actually did pretty well. Um, pretty good gel padding on there. Um, and overall, fun ride. Um, sport mode on this bike is it's just a beast. And yeah, man, we have enjoyed the day here so far. It's been beautiful out here in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Texas forever. And uh, yeah, we're about to branch off because Brandon, her two wheels, and Block, and I are going to go do our own little thing. And um, just yeah, go hang out and shit. Go look for that elusive Texas trouser snipe. Try and give it a hug. <laughs> Watch out for the Texas wiener snatcher. <laughs> I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Let go. It's up the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. <laughs>